guys, Ems Forever here and welcome back for another episode of the Sims 4 Achievement Hunting series. So we are back exactly where we left off. We have caught Milo in a bit of a precarious position. He's on the toilet. He's having a poop. Uh, <laughs> so let's just jump straight into it and let's see what we've got going on. We've currently got Max um, practicing making drinks because he's getting uh, the mixology skill up, which he's already got enough for work. We wanted to get him to level 3 for school. That's what we're doing, that's right. Uh, and Milo is going to the toilet and then he's doing his homework. So he also needs to increase a skill. But he also needs charisma to be a nanny. Because apparently you need to be charismatic to be a nanny. Uh, so yeah, in the last episode we got the boys jobs. Um, we've discussed where we're going with the series. We are getting the fabulously wealthy achievement for Max, and Milo is getting the painter extraordinaire. It's going to be the two of them together for the series. Um, there we go. So we've got level three. You can stop doing that. Go do your homework, and then you are going upstairs to go to sleep. Now, what is your brother doing? Is he almost finished? Yes, he's almost done. So when you're done, you can go to sleep also. Beautiful. Please say you put that in your inventory and you didn't leave it with something weird. Oh good, you really kept it. Come on, buddy. Beautiful. Alright, let's just let them sleep. Yep, where Max is missing work. I'm a terrible person! Run! <laughs> bye bye, thank you. Let's just ignore that phone call, shall we? Alright, Milo is up and Adam, he needs to we take a shower and have something to eat. So he can have. That's not what I wanted. French toast. Almost gave him a grilled cheese sandwich for breakfast, but you know, I've given them weird stuff. Alright. Beautiful. Oh. Yeah, and then you can just channel surf, watch some TV while you're eating that. You're not going to get to do it, are you? No. Get some fun because he's quite unhappy. Alright, Nora, you're up. You need to clean up the house a little bit. Because it is awful. Alright, boys need to go off to school. Beautiful. Study hard. Do the right thing. Okay, now. Yeah, have some chicken for breakfast. Why not? Always fun. No, you decide not to eat that after all. Go on, eat your roast chicken. Now, how are we going skill wise? So we're working on baking, weren't we? Yeah. Yes, she's level two. What can she make now? Yes, she can make new things. Great. So she can make bread, cereal, marshmallow squares, and oatmeal cookies. So that is what she's going to do once she's finished eating. No, done. Nora does not want to hang out tonight. Because you are a massive flirt. Oh, but she's a bit lonely. Once we made the bread, now let's make the cereal and marshmallow squares. And the bread can go in the fridge. Come on, Nora. Get them out of the oven, but... Yeah, she is making what I thought she was making. Making, like, Rice Krispie treats, which don't actually go in the oven, so she ruined those. Have you ever made those before? Leave me a comment below if you have. Because I have, and they were delicious. I made them with pink marshmallows, so they were pastel pink. And then I put like all these, um, what are they called? 
like sugar pearls in them. And they were so cute. My husband loved them. Jeez, that took forever. And then you can clean the bench once you're done. No, no fish more. It's full. Oh, Max is an A student, but we need to get Milo there before we can age them because they are twins and they are aging together. Uh, so, Max, you need to come have some fun. So do you. Milo. Then we need to focus on your skills. So we're going to work on creativity so that you get your third. There we go. And you can take talk to your boys. That will get your social up. Good. She's going to the toilet, which she doesn't need to do. All right, so the boys should be still mm, not quite there. That's all right. Alright, let's get him up and go to sleep. It's the right thing to do, Max. Now, on Milo, we are going to have a thoughtful shower. And then we're going to go upstairs and you're going to... Classic, large classic. Get that third skill level. How are you going with the rest of school? Got that part done. As soon as he gets level three, it's done. I'm starving when you have dinner with me at the tent. No, Lonnie, I'm sorry. We've got things we need to do. Now, Nora, what do you feel like doing? Let's send you to have a shower. You need to do that. And then you might call... Good, Eliza died. <laughs> That's very dark. I didn't say that. Not at all. Um, and we're going to call Dina for a chat. How are you going? Let's move this one's out the way. I kind of love that that's the outlook. That's just so cute. It's a good place for an easel. If I was painting, I'd want it to be out there as well. Are you going to max out the skill with this painting, or am I going to make me force you to make another? It's a bit touch and go. Oh, now he's sad from school. Oh, you're kidding. Well, go to the toilet. That's a good idea. And then you can sell that one to a collector, and you're going to have to paint again. Because you were so close, like a tiny, little, tiny bit away. So let's do that again. A large classic. Ta-da! Painting level three. <laughs> oh, that was not even fair. Oh, well. Let's feed him and then he needs to do his homework. Come back some grilled cheese and then you can do your homework. How's your brother going? Yeah, I'm going to wake him up. He's going to go to the toilet. He's going to have a shower. He's going to come eat and do his homework. Beautiful. So Milo has finished his homework. It's time for you to go to bed, Milo. Good, it's Friday. That is very good. How are you going, Max? And ta-da, you are done. Almost. Done. Okay. Off you go to bed as well, even though you've got work in two hours. One hour. Got that. I'll just let him sleep for a little bit longer. Good. 
Oh. Off you go to work. Oh, the toilet's broken. Oh no, not repair. Not repair. Okay, what do you need to have a good day? Probably using the toilet would not hurt. And having something to eat. So that is exactly what we're gonna do. <laughs> Proud. <laughs> there we go, the boys start in an hour, Max is home. Okay, he's tired. Dunno, I might better get him upstairs, have a bit of a sleep before work or before school. Get in there, thank you. Just until your brother's ready to go. He's just eating, so he's still a little time. Uh -huh. Oh no, he's left. Go! Beautiful. Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> she was reading his homework. Because that's interesting. So we are going to have a bit of a steamy shower. We really need to clean up this house though. I think we should hire someone. We're going to hire a service. I swear I did that. I was intending to do that. I'm doing it now. So we're going to have a scheduled maid. Beautiful, turning up very soon. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna do something. What is this? This is a yoga studio. Oh, it's a spa. No, we're going to travel to the place they got married. And we're gonna go to put some more money in that wishing well because that did well for Lonnie on their wedding day. Did very well. If you don't remember what happened there, Lonnie put some money in the wishing well and won like 24,000 simoleons. That was pretty cool. Was it 24? I think so. Could be wrong. Okay, so we are here. And here's the wishing well. We're going to present an offering of a thousand dollars and see what sort of mood he's in. So do offering the wishing is, is where the set aside is now more amenable to granting wishes. Perfect. We're going to make a wish for simoleons because we want to put the boys in the right spot. Beautiful. We got five thousand seven hundred two. All the coins that sim. Sims have wished upon was suddenly regurgitated up and out of the well and straight into Nora's wallet. Beautiful. So we got some extra money. Some extra moolah. We got 5,000 and we put 1,000 in there so we got 4,000 roughly. What have we got? Lane Royal. You're a very interesting character, Lane. I'm not sure I want to get to know you. I was thinking about it but changing my mind now. Toss a coin in this well. It's not a well, it's a fountain. going to add some soap. I always love doing this. I don't know why. I just do. And then she's going to play in it. Hmm. 
That's so cute. Adorable. I remember when Nora and Lonnie did this on their wedding day. All the memories. This is so cute. I'm actually sort of like taking a trek down memory lane right now. It's just beyond adorable. Alright, so we're going to send you home. You're still a bit lonely, but that's okay. I'm going to send you home and you're going to make a cake for the boys. Because... Because they are going to be aging up tonight. So I made has cleaned our house, which is great. Unfortunately, there's still food everywhere, which is very frustrating. Anyway, we are going to cook a hamburger cake, you reckon? Zombie cake, blue confetti. I think we're gonna go with the blue confetti. We're gonna make a blue confetti cake for the boys. I think that's so cute. Since they are going to age up, it's technically their birthdays. And speaking of birthdays, my birthday is coming up in a few weeks. So I've actually talked to my husband into spending a week on the channel with me to, for my birthday. So from Monday through to Sunday, which includes two Sims episodes, he's going to be sitting beside me. Um, either joining in playing or he will be commentating with me. So obviously with the Sims, I might even give him a, a bit of control. We'll see. Uh, he never played The Sims as a kid, so it's all like new for him. Don't eat any of this cake, Nora. Whatever you do. Uh, so it will be very interesting to see. If I do give him um, rain, it will be very interesting. But yeah, if you've got any ideas of things you'd like me to get him to do, if I do give him the reins of the series, just for a couple of episodes, uh, leave me a comment below because that would be really interesting to see what you guys want to test him to, to do. For someone that hasn't really played The Sims, he's, he's played it with me maybe once or twice, um, but then I want to rip my hair out because he's really no good. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so the boy should be home any minute. Oh, Dina died. That's really sad. Beautiful. Now you should come sit. And we are going to let Max go first because he is exhausted. Ill and neat. Ah. Ah. Beautiful. So let's see the trait. He's charismatic and materialistic. Hmm. He's going to be an art lover. Again. Okay, so he is an art lover, he is creative, and we're going to make him self assured. He's confident. Oh, 
Beautiful. So the boys have now aged up. They no longer have to go to high school. We are going to start taking leaps and bounds now uh, towards the next achievements. So I know it has been a little while since we've gained any really good quality ones or anything. Um, and it's definitely now the focus is definitely 100% shifted off Nora. So it is definitely... How many times do I want to say definitely? It is now on Milo and Max. So we're going to see how they go. So if you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time for another episode of the Sims 4 Achievement Hunting series. Also keep an eye out on the channel for a few weeks time um, where you will see Jim and One on the channel. So let me just have a look. How many weeks until my birthday? It's still about six episodes away. Uh, so it's about three weeks till my birthday. But I'm pretty sure it's the 20th. The first episode of The Sims for Achievement Hunting series with Jim and One here. It is. Uh, so from the week from the 19th to the 25th of September, we'll have uh, Jim and One joining us on the channel. My birthday is actually on the 23rd. Uh, so yeah, we look forward to seeing you between now and then, uh, but also there as well. I hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you guys next time. Bye.